Vitality Clinical Trial is a trial that assesses the effect of vitamin D3 and calcium carbonate on bone and muscle growth in children aged 11 to 19 years. This study is being conducted in Harare, Zimbabwe and Lusaka, Zambia. Vitamin D3 and calcium carbonate are called supplements. Supplements are medications and tablets that are used to provide nutrients to the body. We will see the participants for a total of 96 weeks. For the first 48 weeks, participants will be taking vitamin D and calcium carbonate or placebo. And then they stop, but continue with study visits up to week 96, so that we can see the long-term effects of the supplements on bone and muscle growth. This video aims to show you the journey that participants go through as part of the study. We usually invite participants from the hospital outpatient department coming for their clinic review. And if they're interested in taking part in the study, we arrange with the clinic nurses to talk to the children if they would like to join our study. The nurse then informs us of the participants and we make arrangements to have them picked up at their clinic or hospital. The participants then come to our study site at Salimugabe Central Hospital for those children who live in Zimbabwe and or University Teaching Hospital for children who live in Zambia. We go through the process of consent with all the parents and children. We go through the consent form, which explains the aims of the study and procedures to be done in the study in detail. We discuss the benefits and risks of taking part in the study, and everyone is free to ask any questions that they may have. We explain to the child and their guardian that not taking part in the study will not affect their relationship with the doctors, nurses, or the research team at this hospital or any other clinics. Parents and children sign all the consent forms and begin the assessments. We start by collecting blood and rectal swab samples. These will be sent to different labs for processing. Some of the samples we collect are stored so that we can measure bone markers and see the effect of vitamin D on the body's ability to fight infections. The bloods we collect are called fasted bloods and are taken first thing when the participant has had nothing to eat overnight. We then measure weight. Participants in Zambia also get their calf, waist and hip, as well as skin fold thickness measured. We measure standing height and we also measure sitting height. We ask the participants to do a standing long jump. This measures muscle strength in the legs. We then go on to measure grip strength. We also ask the participants in Zambia to stand on a special scale called the Tanita scale. This scale measures the amount of body fat, muscles and bone in the participant's body. We also ask the participant or their guardian some information on their background, schooling, diet and past medical history. After this, the participant is taken to the x-ray department for some scans. We perform a DEXA scan. We scan the hip, the spine and the whole body. In Zimbabwe, our participants undergo two extra scans one of the hand and wrist, and we also take a special scan of the participant's leg called PQCT. The leg length is taken first before the scan is taken. Participants have to sit very still for this leg scan for about 15 minutes. After the scan, the participants go back to the study room where they will wait for their vitamin D3 and calcium carbonate tablets or placebo, depending on the randomization. The research assistant or nurse will go to the pharmacy to collect the participants' drugs on their behalf. The nurse then gives the participant their first dose of study drugs to take in the clinic. The nurses also explain to the participants how they are supposed to take their tablets. Vitamin D once a week and calcium carbonate once a day and the corresponding placebo drugs accordingly. And that if they have any problems with taking the tablets such as dehydration, vomiting, constipation, stomach pain, reduced appetite, irritability, feeling tired or muscle weakness, they should call. Or come back to the clinic where they will be seen by the nurses or the study physician. In addition, they also show the participants how to complete the drug diary and show them when their next follow-up date will be. This then concludes the visits for the day and we thank the participant for their time and reimburse their transport money. 
We also inform the participant of when to return for their next appointment. First, after two weeks and thereafter, after every three months until they reach week 48, when they will stop taking the drug and will return all the remaining tablets to the clinic, but will continue with study follow-up visits until week 96. The Vitality Study Team would like to thank participants and guardians from Zimbabwe and Zambia for sacrificing their time to make this trial possible. The Vitality Trial is hosted by the Biomedical Research and Training Institute, University Teaching Hospital Zambia, London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and other collaborating institutions. This trial is funded by the European and Developing Countries Trial Partnership, the EDCTP.